house of undercarriage, Fred. Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. <sighs> Getting ready to kick off this morning's hunt, and I couldn't be any more excited. We got a cold front rolling in right now, sitting at 50 degrees, supposed to drop another few. The wind right now is turning from the west to the north. But before we get going, guys, I have room here at Sand Hill Flyways, my guide service that y'all watch me build the lodge. But I have room the beginning of November for groups anywhere from two to five to seven to eight. The first two groups in November being dates between November 2nd and November 9th. I am giving some pretty hefty discounts for folks that want to come. So any father sons that's been thinking about it, let's make it happen. Any groups of two, four, six, let's make it happen. You don't want to miss this discount, guys. It's just the beginning of November only, these rates. It's looking to be a really, really good season. Lots of migration happening right now. Uh, I heard specs all night last night. So if you're interested, go down in the description or just head on over to sandhillflywoods.com. Hit the inquire to book with me tab. Fill that quick form out. Make sure your phone number's correct so I can get a hold of you and we will see if we can make something happen for y'all. But without further ado, let's roll. 707. It is time to eat. Time to eat, yeah. I guess let's not, but only something in the decoy is easy to find. Right. Oh, there's the first shooter, McGee. <laughs> no, set. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Let him get in there. Yeah. Is that Gaddy's? Uh, okay. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Shoot him. Yeah. Oh, missed him. We dropped one. Oh, he's going down right behind us. We just had one go down right there. I marked him. Fred! Watch Frederick. Boy, they got down in there. Right here? Dead bird. Oh, there he got him. He got him. Good boy. Good boy, drop. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, sh look at that. First big duck of the year. I seen the Huh? I said, and it's not a shoveler. It's not a shoveler, thank God. I couldn't determine if they were a mallard or a gadwall. See, I couldn't tell if they were a gadwall or a widgeon. I oh, knew, really? Yeah, I knew they weren't. I knew they weren't mallards. Is that two teal in there? No, those are snipes. Okay. Uh, hen gaddy, off of the get go. Thank God it ain't a spoon bill, but I'd take it anyways. Good boy, Fred. Man, they come. this is beautiful. Here they come. Yep. Shoot him right there. Oh, hell yeah, three. Four. Okay. Oh, no, that one's keep going, that one kept going. Right behind us here. He's dead. Yeah, mark, mark those. Fred. No, Fred. Fred, back. Fred, dead bird. Right there, dead bird. Fred. Good. Good boy, here. Let's go. Here. Drop. Alrighty. Blue winger. Young blue wing. Yeah, just right in front of you to the right a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. That was a beautiful group of teal. Man, this spot is quite amazing. Been wanting to hunt it for a long time. All right, come on, Fred. You got two so far? Yeah, one went here and then two went here. So one and then they fell. You got two? Yeah. 
Yeah, I saw for three, sure, sure three right here. That was freaking sweet. Oh, uh, Fred, dead bird. Come away. No. Maybe it's just white. Okay, no. Whew, you scared me. No, I, I mean, I wasn't <laughs> saying it to do it. I it must have been a bubble. I was like, I see there white on it. Oh, you right. Oh my God, shoot them. Oh, oh, they're way out. Okay, let's just get. Oh my God, this is awesome. Yeah, buddy. Fly and enjoy this a little bit longer. Yeah. Tell me, this ain't badass. Yeah. This is awesome. Cool. So we got the three and the one flew away. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep, big duck trout above us, loving. That's a, dude, is that a pintail? You see that? Oh, they like it. They like it. Holy crap. Right there. They're on the right getting down. Here they come. I got uh, that duck strap over here. Keep an eye out. I'm going to get these ducks all strapped up. All right, you want to put yours on here? Are you good or... Okay, yeah, you can store them on here so you ain't trying to hold them. Here, slide them in there. Look, I got a steel in my bag too. Oh, do you? I'm just bad. gonna hang this on this pole, so. No, that's fine. Okay. You're halfway. Yeah, I'm at three. Man, that one, he was wounded. That was the one that got up. That came around the back. Oh, that you shot? Yeah. Back there? Yep. Did you find it? Yep, I got him. Good boy, Fred. Okay, so we picked up three, so oh, look at it. Another group of tail. Huh? You got one there, and we picked up three yep. out there? So yep. We got four. four. This is so wheat. And like I said, there was one, the other one that fell down, but he popped up, landed again, and then he flew away. I mean, I could have shot him. Look at those groups of ducks over there, over the tree. Two big flocks, dude. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that, these, dude. These are ridges. Are they? These, these two, these big ducks right Yeah, there? I see the big ducks, yep. Oh, 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 set. Get ready, shoot them big ones. Shoot them. Coming right at us. Oh, come on, fall, bitch. Oh, thank you. I was like, I hit you. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> dude, I thought he was coming at us and he just stayed there. Yeah, dude. Well, Good boy. Fetch him up. I hit him Good. hard with the first one. <laughs> I him on the second. And he was just there. <laughs> I just helped you. No, I appreciate it. Oh, dude. It's a witch. Yes. Look at that beautiful. Right. Ding. First big duck. Look at that. That's yours, nice. dog. That's a beauty, dude. Nice. What a beauty. An early season widgeon. Oh, my God. The that's a really nice early season widget. Yeah, for early season, I'll show you guys when we get some more daylight here. We've only been shooting, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. Maybe 10? Yeah, that, well, 721. So you're at three. I'm at three. You got two teal, right? And a widget, yep. Here's what I found. <laughs> Wait, you had three teal out there. One flew away. Okay, so you got two teal and a widget. Cause you shot one out there and one here, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got two teal. Wait, yeah, two teal and a hen. Uh, boy, howdy. Let's just shoot big ducks. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of teal. Dude, that widgeon's a stud muffin. Good to see a plumpy wedge, widgeon like that. Here, let me put my gun down. Dude, they, they loved it. They yeah. did not stop coming. I, I was aiming for white wings. <laughs> what a beauty. Look at the head on him. He's stud, dude. He is. Dude. Look at the sprig on him. Not bad. Dude, this early? Are you kidding me? Yeah. God, he's he's flipping gorgeous, I man. I have ever shot that pretty of a widgeon this early in this season. No way. I haven't either. I'm talking second week in November is the earliest she'll shoot an okay one. Yeah. No, I completely agree. Two. Look at that. I'll look out in front, another flock working. Oh look, they're landing. Oh, they landed a 10 pack of teal. 
uh, just passing on the teal. Um, I want to shoot another big duck. I got one to go look for. Um, possible. Possible I'll find him. I'm going to try, but I'm going to shoot one more big duck. Um, and then uh, see where we're at. I, I'm not really... I'm not needing any teal, so especially knowing that there's widgeon like that here now. Alright. Big shout out to Troy. Troy called me last night. He's like, hey man, I thought about going and trying yada yada spot. And I'm like, you read my mind. He's like, let's go. I got a spot in mind. I said, let's try it. And here we are. Uh, I marked this bird. It's going to be very tough. Uh, but he went down. He definitely went down. There's flocks of teal. There's a big group of big ducks. I'm ready. Fred found it. Another gadwall. Look at that beauty. I can't believe I found him. Wow. That's a male. He's got a black bill on him. Big old birds. Man, this feels good. Found him right where I marked him. Troy has landed probably a hundred teal since I left. There's a flock of 10, 12 landing on him for the second time right now. Yeah, look at that, dude. Big duck. Oh, it feels good that we are back and at it. Come on, y'all. Smash that thumbs up. Old Frederick. Us two. Making it happen. Standing in the cattail. Like yeah, I seen oh, him. Oh, that's a stud gaddy. Yeah. It's not bad for early season either. He ain't lying. He's even starting to get purple on his head already. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. Good boy. Set. Yeah, I seen you land dude, a hundred teal. Yeah. <laughs> and we got ducks, baby. Feels good to be able to say that. Yep. When the cold goes away and it gets 80 degrees, they'll be gone or something. Dude, this morning was going to be the morning to hit it. Yeah. Yep, you are right. The last time, uh, the actually the the one good good time that I came was just like today, but it was that spit and rain morning, and got real chilly, and there was a, like this. It was a good amount of ducks, but not a big ducks. Wow, awesome. What do you think, bud? Look at this high and dry. Yeah, look at the high and dry utility pole getting it done. Uh huh. Got my shells in there. Thank goodness for this thing. Keeps all of our stuff, our birds, out of the water. Dry, hands-free. Um, the only thing that isn't dry is poor Frederick. I was gonna bring his Invisiman out here so he could get up out of the water, but that thing is heavy, and I would have been one tired SOB, so uh, decided to leave that at home. They are doing a uh, awesome offer like a 25 dollars free item with your uh, purchase of the high and dry utility pole if you use code bob at checkout um, and then a hefty discount to go with it so check them out i will link them at the top of the description below they're a lifesaver for these situations american made heck of a warranty on them buy one you won't buy another one or anything like it for a long time they are worth every single penny i promise you Pretty sure they only weigh like two and a half pounds or something really stupid light. So today on a 600 yard carry in through water and cattails and brush, I didn't even know it was on my back. I'm not sure if Colin helps. Well, it might, they're coming in hard now. Yo, that was a hen pintail. Oh yeah, I see yep. that one next to you. see that? Yep, that's a pintail in the back. If you get a shot, oh come on. It could be an early season Drake. It I'm looked sure. like a, a whole neck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we missed that. <laughs> yeah, some they're gonna shoot them about three, two, man. 
That was our dang pintail of the day, probably. Probably the only darn pintail we'll see. Didn't come close enough. It, I promise you it was a hand though. Oh, there's a shot. <laughs> we called it. <laughs> Man, they're gonna slam in them guys. are getting ready to... Uh, maybe. They went up. Yeah, they did. Look at those two flocks of birds way out there. Just cruising, dude. Mm -hmm. See them? Yep. Hauling the mail. A decent cool front this morning. Not a lot. This is not a cold front, just a cool front with a north wind and right. the, uh, the movement from the west today uh, they are traveling they are traveling a lot today and the limited water probably why we're seeing so much uh, to be honest to the west of us uh, you know within another hour west it's all dry it's dry dry so seeing them spill from the west in the morning like this and just rolling hard that low water out west is probably the reason yeah Oh, catch him, catch him, catch him. <laughs> yeah. Back! Yeah. Fred! Yeah. I only had two shells. Natural, I say back. <laughs> yeah. Not a dog. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. He should get him, I bet. Is that I a widgeon? That's a widgeon, isn't it? Dude, I, if it's a widgeon, it's a Eurasian. It had a red head. I seen the red head. It's... All right, yeah, that bird, lo that bird looked real odd. I think it's a red head, but. I had a white breast. Dead bird. Dead bird. Oh, you got it. Sorry, buddy. Nope. Hand widgeon. Head hand widgeon. I didn't know you had it in your mouth, buddy. Sorry. He did find it. I know. I seen the red head, dude. I saw it too. I thought it looked like either like it or a late season damned hill, you know, with a. Red head. It was big. It was bigger than a teal, but I swore that Man. was a red head or a Eurasian <laughs> widget. Uh, All I know is, it's like, it's a big duck. It's got a red head. Kill it. <laughs> I don't know who shot it. Well, no, I know we, I helped. We, we both. Like we tag -teamed it. Yeah, matter. we tag teamed her. That's for show. Sure. Was that the one you're aiming at on the first shot too? Well, it was the only bird that was here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the only big duck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look at everything we got hanging on here. We got his bag, which is real heavy. We got my bag. Uh, and then all the birds. And I can also check this out. Hang my gun on that side. That's a lot of weight, really. GoPro is going to die in about five seconds. So we're going to do everything else on my phone. Um, hope it turns out good. That's it. There, good sit, boy, stay. Sit. Now walk away. Get away from his Place. ass. Stay. He, he wants to love on you. I know he does. Dude, I love you, buddy. We're going to have to deal with you. We'll figure it out. We got to deal with you. Look at him. He don't know what's wrong. It's I all know. right. He's like, I don't understand. It's all right. You just stay there. I open the topper. He stinks bad. Like real bad. Now that we're out of the wind. So we're going to have to uh, look up Google a remedy and uh i'm gonna make beth do that <laughs> maybe here's uh here's a pile though i went gaddy city today i did gadwall city two teal look at this best bird of the day by far good looking widgeon like like you said a little bit of rust and the yeah. white top I don't know if it's rust or if that's just the feather color. You yeah, know? I don't know if it's, it's like its plumage hasn't came in to be that cotton top yet or what. I don't know, but best part of the day, stud widge. If it was a snow goose, you'd call it rust. <laughs> if it was a snow goose, yeah, you'd definitely call it rusty. But heck yes. Good hunt. Saw lots of teal. Saw lots of gadwall. Saw a decent amount of pintail. Missed shooting one once my uh, GoPro was already dead. Um, and then we saw a couple hundred at minimum specs, probably 150, 200. We bit 150, 200 birds for sure. I mean, coming in and what was crazy was they were coming from the west and the east. Yeah, it's kind of like an intersection point yeah. right where we were. And then they're kind of moved south or I don't know, just flying about. Definitely mo a lot of them were migrating from the north and going over, but awesome day, awesome north wind not really cold what's the temperature probably 66 or 7 or something 
Yeah, 61. Feels hotter than that, don't it? Hmm. But we dropped one bird out back. Uh, I did, and I looked, and I looked, and I looked. I found the one gadwall that I dropped in back, but I, this bird probably fell 100 yards, and that's where Fred ended up getting sprayed. So, yeah, I could have shot one more and made it six, but I knew that I downed one that I couldn't find, and I'm sure a hawk grabbed it, because there was a ton of hawks back there. So, uh, I'm going to call it limit out for both of us, because you lost, yeah, you lost a bird down. that dove on you in the water. I lost yep. my bird, frick. 150 yards back he got sprayed so that's not a win for fred set <laughs> look he looks miserable earlier yeah it's definitely on his face he was licking his nose earlier real bad yeah and i smelled his poor little snout yeah the, you're, these flies are gonna like you now buddy yeah <laughs> <laughs> miserable the flies are literally all over him. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, fudge, fudge. Yeah, he ain't feeling it. I'm gonna put down this camera and go give him a bath. Or find, put, I don't know, rub charcoal on him or something. Figure it out. Maybe it's the baking soda idea. I feel like baking soda is what I've heard. Baking soda? I think so. I'm gonna have to Google it. You guys at home, Guaranteed a ton of you have dealt with this issue right here. Old Frederick being a stinky boy now. Not his fault. He was just doing his job. Not just stay there. We don't need you rubbing up on us. What do you do? What's your home remedies? No, sit. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't bring Judge. And I'm sure a lot of you are asking why. For one, I didn't take Judge number one. I knew Fred was going to have to literally stand in the water the whole time. Judge would not have handled that situation good at all. I knew that Fred would be able to do it and he wouldn't complain about it. And uh, I'm glad Judge didn't go because if he would have got sprayed, it just would have freaked him out that much more. Yeah. So Beth said she actually wouldn't do it, but she did look up a good recipe <laughs> when I was out back. I go, and I'm going to make Beth do it. Mm -hmm. Huh? You ain't doing it. Yeah. So it calls for. Home Salute is just a home remedy. Just Googled it, and this was, uh, I've heard about this before. Um, one quart, 32 ounces, of hydrogen peroxide. And then a quarter cup of baking soda. And then it calls for a couple teaspoons of dish soap. So, does it say anything about wetting him down first or putting it on while he's dry? This is a lather, which means being, he needs to be wet. So get him wet first, then lather him, work it, and then let him sit for five minutes. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Well, I dumped the hydrogen peroxide in there. I'm guessing it's safe. Stir it up a little bit. Yeah, it's got to be safe to touch. It's going to go on fret. <laughs> Oof, he stinks. You smell him? I mean, not too bad, actually. Good boy. I don't. I have to get up close to him. I think he got it on his snout. Good thing you got warm water out there, Ricky. That's some good warm water. <laughs> All right, we're going to rinse him down, get him a little wet. God, he stinks. You don't smell that? No. You have to come over here and you'll smell Yeah, I'm him. good. <laughs> I said it Very would be mixture. really foamy. It's not really, really foamy. I wonder if I put too much soap in it. Think so? I don't know. I don't know what else to do. It's not like thick or anything. Like mix it around real good. Kind of burning my under my fingernails. <laughs> it's just like Ooh, a. Oh my god! It burns. I got what? cuts on my hands. Oh. The hydrogen per. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Gone sorry, wrong. buddy. Oh, I can't right feel on good. the face. I'm sorry. Oh, honey. Oh, no, sit, sit, sit. Oof, I'm, I'm gonna have to walk. Okay. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, Fred, hurts. sit. Fred, sit. Ow! Ay, ouch! Good lord. Look at that cut I got today. That hurts. Oh. It's cleaned out, man. Fred, I can't save Fred you. Here. Fred, here. Here, Fred, here. Sit his eyes. Here, oh, sit. Guy. He hates it burning. Well, I drink his eyes out, but then let the rest well, of it sit yeah, for a minute. That's what I'm gonna do. Put some water on your hand and rinse off his nose. Ow! Aww. Sorry, buddy. 
So, I know he got sprayed on his face. That's the problem. You got to get it on it. You got to get the stuff on his face. Yeah, just try to get it on the fur, not in his poor guy. Let's see. Got to get it on there. Let it sit, Ricky. Poor guy. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. He's just a good boy. Oh. Poor friend. Hurts. Don't lick it, bud. Oh. There you go. I said wait for five minutes. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Hey, my little dog. <laughs> Poor guy. I know, he's so cute. Look at been, him. How many minutes do you think it's been? I think it's probably been a solid five minutes. At least you got warm water out here, Fred. Yeah, Does that burn? I bet it burns too. Alright, let's do some instant. So yeah, it says use warm water. Thank goodness we have a warm water spigot outside. Yeah. Because it really is kind of cool out today. Yep. Sorry, buddy. You gotta rinse off your head. Come here. Let me see. Let me see. Undercarriage, Fred. He's got the car wash. He is. He don't move. Shine up those tires, Freddy. Sorry. Not in the ear, Dad. Look at him. Sorry. He's shaking that out for a week. Does your truck smell bad? Uh, I, put, I have a topper now, so I put them in the back. Oh. Yeah, the back smells horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, all done. You okay, buddy? Poor guy. When he got sprayed, I knew it was in his face, because he, sure enough, he was he was licking his nose really, really bad. His nose was bothering him. And usually that's what happens. You know, they're sniffing around trying to wind a bird, trying to find it, and that's what he's doing. I told him, hunt him up. He had his nose on the ground, and he was searching, and... That's what happens. They put their nose in the wrong hole and psh! So I can tell his eyes, he don't really want to open them that much. And I'm sure that peroxide didn't help at all. Probably pretty sensitive on his snout and his eyes, but he smells a lot better. I can smell just a trace if you get real close to him and start really sniffing, sniffing around pretty hard, but might have to do two rounds of it. Maybe another one here later today if the scent comes on a little stronger. But like I told you at the beginning of the video, y'all, I have room at the beginning of November. So it would be our opening group, which is November 2nd. And then the group after that, uh, which would be November, what's that, 5th, 6th? Those two dates are opening two client groups. It's looking really good. The numbers of ducks, I saw plenty of specs today. Saw a lot of migration, put it that way. It will be good by November 1, I can guarantee it. So if you are interested in booking a hunt here in Central Kansas with me, staying in the old lodge, having a good old time shooting field ducks and field geese and pond ducks and pond geese and who knows what we get into, but it's always something. If you wanna come hunt with me here in Kansas, all you gotta do, go down in the description to the book with me tab. It'll take you to the sandhillflyways.com site and then you will fill out the inquire to book form we will be getting in touch with you to see if we can work something out so for those first two dates in november i am giving a pretty good discount on them so we can uh, accept anybody from uh two guys up to five or seven or eight maybe even ten so if you've been thinking about it pull the trigger let's make it happen but I always bring something home and today would be cold fronts, cold fronts, cold fronts. Like I said, if you see a cold front coming in your area and you can get out there that next day, go, 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 go. Especially if it's a weekday and you have the availability to get out there. 
Cold fronts on weekdays equals good public land hunting, no matter where you are. Subscribe if you haven't. Oh, it's just Judge pooping. <laughs> but until next time. Criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.